Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Next Monday, December 21st, is the day of the winter solstice. But what's it all about anyway? Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Next Monday, December 21st, at precisely 12.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the winter solstice, that is the first day of winter, officially begins for the Northern Hemisphere. But if you're like most people, the concept of the winter solstice can be a bit confusing. So let me explain what the winter solstice is really all about. But to do that, we're going to have to go back in time all the way to the first day of spring. Okay, we've got our sky set for the first day of spring, which is also called the vernal equinox. Vernal meaning green and equinox meaning equal night, which simply means that on the equinox, the hours of daylight are equal to the hours of night. Now, on the first day of spring, the vernal equinox, the sun rises exactly due east and sets exactly due west. And on each successive day thereafter, it rises and sets just a little bit farther to the north until the summer solstice, the first day of summer, when the sun reaches its northernmost point along the horizon and actually seems to stand still and rises and sets in the same place for a few days. In fact, the word solstice means sun stands still. And as any school child will tell you, the first day of summer is the longest day of the year, meaning the day of longest daylight. Now, after the solstice, the sun will appear to reverse its direction and will rise and set just a little bit farther south each successive day. And each successive day, the time of daylight will grow just a little bit shorter. And on the autumnal equinox, the first day of autumn, the sun will once again rise due east and set due west. And the hours of daylight will once again be equal to the hours of night. Then the sun will continue its journey southward, rising and setting a little bit farther south each day. And daylight will continue to get shorter and nighttime longer each day until the winter solstice, the first day of winter, when the sun will reach its farthest point south and once again will appear to solstice, that is, stand still and rise and set in the same place for a few days. And at the time of the solstice, the northern hemisphere will experience the shortest days of the year meaning the days of least sunlight and most night. So, in a nutshell, the winter solstice is the day the sun reaches its southernmost rising and setting point along the horizon. And the shortest days of the year occur. Now, a long time ago, people were very superstitious and believed that the sun was a deity of some sort and that if it was angry at humanity, it just might continue to rise and set farther south each day until eventually there would be everlasting night and humanity would be wiped out. So many ancient cultures staged elaborate ceremonies and celebrations at the time of the winter solstice, entreating the sun god to stop his journey southward and to begin his journey northward, which of course it always does repeating the solstice to solstice cycle over and over again. So may I suggest that you keep track of where the sun rises and sets each day this upcoming year, because I think you'll find it both fascinating and a lot of fun. Happy winter solstice and keep looking up. Thank you.